17, and uh, presuming to speak on behalf of some of those who work in the Moker, uh, we thank you very much. As you can see, the, the quality of these pictures, uh, this live television transmission from the surface of the moon is very good, very good indeed. And if this is any indication of what we are to see later on in this mission, we're going to have some uh, truly fantastic pictures. The astronauts have been out on the surface of the moon for some time now. They have deployed the lunar rover and the camera that is taking the pictures you saw just a moment ago is mounted on that lunar rover. We'll be back with a... Uh, Another report during halftime of the football game later on tonight at ABC, and later this evening, a more complete report. This is Frank Reynolds, ABC News, at Space Headquarters in New York. This has been a special report in the flight of Apollo 17 from ABC Space Headquarters in New York. We now resume our regularly scheduled program. Goodyear Blimp, Columbia, on a beautiful, cool night. This is the scene at the Oakland Coliseum in Oakland, California. Nearly 55,000 fans jamming the Coliseum. And tonight, it's the New York Jets versus the Oakland Raiders. Through the night, that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled band Camel and last week, Lou Rawls, two great performing artists. This telecast is presented by authority of the Oakland Raiders Football Club. It's intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Oakland Raiders Football Club and the National Football League is prohibited. And we're about to get underway. The Oakland Raiders will be kicking off as their special unit comes onto the field. Jerry DePoister is number four. He handles the kickoff. Cano on the left side, 41, and Gerald Irons, 86, the right linebacker. Second down and 10 from the 25. Just underway from Oakland, California. Maynard right, Eddie Bell out left. Namath, little protection, goes out to Caster, and he took his eyes off it. Oh, boy. That's his momentum. Now he's just switched to the pass after crunching out two first downs on the ground. Let's look. Second down and 10. The Jets have four linebackers. Eversole is in. The draw play. Marv Hubbard. Good hole. Elliott recovers, makes the stop at the 40, and the ball is fumbled, but recovered by Oakland. Just over the 40-yard line, a gain of six for Hubbard. 32 yards now for Hubbard. That was Art Shell that jumped in there and covered that ball, Frank, because... Hubbard really didn't get it. He fumbled, and there were some jets around there, and Art Shell jumped in there, number 78, picked that one up. That could have been costly. All right, it'll be third down now, a long three. You'll find out now the respect Daryl LaMonica has for the Jets' defense. The ball just inside the 40. He puts Balitnikov out to the right. Siani, 49 to the left. They get bump and run and coverage, as you see, the top of the screen. Going for Balitnikov, and dangerous in that kind of coverage. Balitnikov working against Tanner. Tannen and Tannen was there. Frank, we'll see Blitnikov, Blitnikov is pretty well covered. That's Tannen there, number 21 is right with him. Also number 51, Ralph Baker is out in that area. He had a couple of guys that could have been open down the middle. It's pretty hard to see from up here, but Charlie Smith came out of the backfield, as did Raymond Chester from his tight end position. But anyway, incomplete, they'll try a field goal. From the 46, the 23-year veteran George Blanda. Pulls all the scoring records, gets it off. Rocky Turner is watching it go through. The Raiders move out in front three to nothing. And this is the man, he's 45 years old. We'll be back at the Oakland Coliseum right after this message. This year, Namath has been sacked, so that offensive line has given very good protection throughout the season. 
And that was a quick look at the four-end offense. Luger back in the ball game. Jerome Barkham out. Third down and 21. The ball at midfield. Both backs again coming out of the backfield. Caster. And Rich Caster has it. He may go all the way. And a good block from Maynard. What a block by John Maynard. You're right, Frank. He really poured it on. 50 yards. Rich Caster, his hit touchdown of the year. This is the toughest situation in the world. Hit a long pass. Third down and long yardage. Watch it come back. Good shot here on the ground. Watch this good protection again. And look at the ball. Right over their heads. And here's Maynard, number 13. Watch him. He sees it. Caster has it. Out of his screen. He throws a good block. Look at Caster go. 50 yards and a touchdown. That dive by Villapiano, but no chance against Caster. 6'5", 228, but he is really fast. Bobby Howfield comes on now. He won the game last week on six field goals from New Orleans. And Howfield drills it through. Hi, guy. Sid? Sid? What's this, a new kind of right guard, Anna Pershman? Hi there. <gasps> That's my new right guard natural scent. Natural scent? It's new. Light and fresh. You know, natural. <clears throat> Smell it. Huh? It smells terrific. Mm, it's right guard. <laughs> oh. Helps keep you dry all day. <laughs> new right guard natural scent. <laughs> Just moaning all about you. Oh, they move. Oh. This is my husband, Bruno. Bruno? <laughs> Hi, guy. <laughs> Bobby Howfield has just missed from 39 yards out. The Oakland Raiders take over on the touchback. First and 10, they'll move from the 20. Howfield on the sidelines, 107 points coming into the game. He now has 108. The Jets leading 7 to 3. Both the wide receivers out to the left, and Raymond Chester is now split wide to the right, and Marv Hubbard gets the call up the middle. Stopped there by Larry Grantham. You know, this Saturday on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the Supernatural Drag Racing Championships from Ontario, California, the World Roller Skating Dance Championship from Bremen, West Germany, and an event you've enjoyed before, the International Toboggan Championship from the famous Cresta Run in St. Moritz, Switzerland. That's this Saturday at 5 Eastern and Pacific, 4 Central, and of course, right here on ABC. Gain of four for Hubbard, just short of the 25-yard line, second down and six. Chester again, split to the right. He has the speed of a wide receiver. And he collects it like a wide receiver, and Steve Tannen makes the stop, but it's first down Oakland. You now, never know for sure why a quarterback will come back like that, but Tannen was the one that intercepted it. He says, I'm going to, I don't know, I think a lot of quarterbacks do this. They say, look, man, I'm going to show you something. That last one slipped. Try a look at this one. He throws Chester out there. This time, Tannen slips a little bit behind Chester. But that ball's well thrown. Chester ran a good route. The most wide receivers, La Monica, Luciani, out to the left. Picked up there by Early Thomas and Chris Ferrisopoulos. And here comes Hubbard, Charlie Smith with the block out in front. And the Hubbard hurdles all the way down to the 43-yard line. Hubbard now 12 carries, 59 yards. That is 1,000 on the season. Does that do it for him right That's there, Brady? 1,000 yards for this man, Marv Hubbard, who one time was released by the Jets. See you at Appleton, Wisconsin, Marv. He's become a premier runner in the National Football League. John Madden on the sidelines. Three out of his four years, has, he's won the Western Division. Now looking ahead to possibly, if he can defeat the Jets tonight, it'll be Pittsburgh or it'll be Cleveland. If they don't, it'll be on to Miami and the undefeated Dolphins. On first and ten, LaMonica. And he's going up in the air to Belitnikoff, and he's open. He got it. That one was thrown right on the money, I guarantee. It could not have been better thrown. Had to be right where it was. Belitnikoff just took off on a fly pattern. It appears that Tennant is hurt. You'll see Belitnikoff come back. He's trying to help him. On split screen, let's watch it again. The Mad Bombers, he's called, really unleashed that one. And look at Belitnikoff. Right out in front of Tennant. Now look at him. Never, never broke stride. It appears that Tennant is sliding, and he may have, no, I don't, he may have hurt one of his shoulder that we mentioned earlier. Tennant, yeah. it appears to be his knee. I think it buckled under him as he went down. Perfect execution on the play. It really so, was. This Oakland team, which responds to every opportunity as they did in their comeback victory. There goes Steve off the field limping. 
The right knee apparently bothering him. They came back, as you know, in the waning moments to beat San Diego 21 to 19. They have a way of doing that kind of thing. And they seize their opportunity when the Jets fail to capitalize on their opportunity after Tannen's interception. Failed even to get a field goal out of it. And here's Blanda with Stabler doing the holding. Automatic. So the Raiders have now moved out in front of the New York Jets, 10 to 7. And we'll be back at the Oakland Coliseum right after this message. This is the Goodyear XG78, the winter tire with the exclusive Crosscut tread. Crosscut for starting and stopping traction. Crosscut for cornering and handling traction. Crosscut, diagonal, like this, to give you both kinds of traction in one great winter tire. The Goodyear XG78. Now through Saturday, buy one at the regular price, get the second tire for half price. Draw play goes to Hubbard. And Hubbard getting close to the first down. Early Thomas made the stop. The 102 Jets. yards now, Howard, for Marv Hubbard. Yeah, he's had a big night. And he's become a truly fine, powerful, impressive running back. The Jets' only chance is to contain this Oakland team. They have to get back that football. They can't even really give up a field goal because the odds are that Namath, if they could contain Oakland, would get the Jets into field goal position again. He's had that kind of night. 18 out of 30, 275 yards, one touchdown. He leads the NFL in passing yardage by almost 600 yards more than John Hayden. And they would like to stop the Raiders at this point. Third down, less than a yard, 9.35 remaining. LaMonica switches up, Chester's wide open. Great call. Norman's defense. 69 yards. Raymond Tester as Daryl LaMonica came up with the play fake. The Jets cocked and ready for the attempt at the first down, but totally off guard. Completely. Amateurishly. Through all the years they've watched Bart Starr do this, take another look at it. Yep, he was wide open. They were expecting that run. The Raiders have been running very well. No one was in about 10 yards of Raymond Chester. He hadn't even opened it up yet. And that changes the complexion dramatically. George Blanda on. And Blanda extends the lead of the Raiders over the Jets 24-16. And we'll be back at the Oakland Coliseum in Oakland, California, right after this message. Ball at the 27. Maynard is right. Bell is left. Caster is a tight end on the left side. 88. Eddie Bell. And it will be picked off by Tatum. Jack Tatum. Jack Tatum. Took it all the way down to the 43 yard line. Fumbled the ball. I believe the referee has indicated recovered by the Jets. One referee said the Jets had it. One had the uh, Raiders had it. The head referee says the Raiders still have it. I guess that's the way it goes. Now they're arguing about it. Well, we're in Oakland. <laughs> oh, he says Tatum was down and the play was stopped, and it's his judgment that should prevail. He was there. 57-yard return, and I'd have to say that ball, Don, we hope we can look at it later. I think it was underthrown. Looked to be from here, Frank. Sure did. First down and 10. Raiders now leading 24 to 16. Grantham makes the stop. And here we go. Well, I'll tell you. Oh, don't do that, Phil Wise. Oh, yeah, they're falling apart now, an absence of discipline. There's no point to that, no excuse for it. And as far as the interception's concerned, Don, when you have to pass and pass and pass every play, as I pointed out earlier, the interception becomes almost inevitable, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. You, uh, you really do have to have a running game, Howard, to be effective all the time. Here's a play. He has time to throw. Throws it. Let's see. He's well covered by both Brown and that's Tatum coming over. It was a little bit underthrown. 